I got suspended for telling a pedophile to f*** off. Straight up, just f*** off. That was about it. And uh, they suspended me for two days, which I really don't care about. It was more the fact of, uh, why did I get suspended for telling a pedophile to f*** off? What's up, you gorgeous moderators? My name is Psycho Man Love, and that was basically Microsoft defending pedophilia. I ran across a random video about Xbox banning someone for telling a pedophile to f*** off. And that guy got banned, but the pedophile got away as usual. So this video was made by Crossroads Caravan. The link to his channel and the video is down below. And he posted on the forums about a suspension he got because he told some pedophile to f off. And I don't know who the pedophile was, I don't know the story behind this, is not a lot was said, but simply put, got suspended for telling the pedophile to f off when he messaged me and I need to know why. This guy shows how Microsoft actually allows this. He posted in the forum saying, got suspended for telling a pedophile F off, I think that's what it said, when he messaged me and I need to know why. And one of those Xbox ambassadors replied to it because Xbox support can't do it for some reason. And look at what the Xbox ambassador said. Because regardless of how a situation starts, profanity is not permitted on the service. Oh, so profanity is not permitted, but a person that targets kids on the internet is. How do you think this started? I mean, I'm assuming the Xbox pedophile started it, which led Cross to tell him to F off, but Cross is the one that gets banned. And here's the Xbox ambassador going like, Oh yeah, well, you know, it's against the Xbox Live Terms and Conditions to use profanity. Just avoid the pedophile and you'll be fine. This guy is an Xbox ambassador. I was once an Xbox ambassador and then I left because Microsoft is allowing cheaters and scammers to join. One of these ambassadors could very well be on a registered sex offenders database. Some of them probably harass little kids on Xbox. That's how little Microsoft cares. As long as you're active in the forums and Xbox support doesn't have to be in the forums, they will allow this. They just want ambassadors. And here's a messed up forum. Some dude stands up against a pedophile and the Xbox ambassador says that profanity isn't allowed. But what about about the pedophile like because this is actually illegal whether it's in real life or on the internet you have people who use xbox to target kids but profanity is where it draws the line telling someone to f off is not allowed but pedophilia is yeah wonderful enforcement team you got there microsoft you wouldn't know what happened to me some dude came on my xbox account like came as in uh expelled disgusting shit on it check this out so holy shit bro so why did you send this, this to not me not photoshop uh because you know you wanted to know like what is jerked off me and this shit i never asked why you are what you it talking means like this? why did you just send this to me why did you do that well as silly as they may sound i'm not the one that just sent a picture of a gamer tag with come over yes it. i know i am the one yeah you're definitely the Baby. one no one else but you yeah. So, I don't know why you sent that to me. That's easily the grossest thing ever. You know, and no, I jerked off to your profile picture. Not jerked off, but like, there was come on my monitor. I don't want it to look like, like I jerked off to your profile to see, you know? Okay, well, um, ye I thank you so much for that weird ass picture. And uh, I'm gonna go throw up now, so uh, before I go, do you have- Yo, bro, have a, have a great night, bro. Have a great night. Yeah. And look at what his post said. Dude, really? How obvious are you gonna make it? <laughs> I need someone, I am 43, hashtag kids only. Yeah, um, no pedo or whatever you wanna call him is this stupid. So this is obviously a troll. But I'm gonna check it out just in case. Sure, he might be a troll, but that's disgusting. Like, I love to eat, but this just makes me lose my appetite. Now, imagine if I was like 10 years old or something. A person that age doesn't really know any better, and you're allowing this nonsense to happen, which can potentially scar a child for life, but profanity. Okay, gotcha. Profanity is worse. And that's not the most ridiculous thing about this guy's predicament. So the Xbox ambassador said it profanity is not allowed. Then he locked the thread, which would prevent any responses and this whole case would be marked as solved. So the Xbox ambassador forum system would go like, Oh, you fixed the problem. Good work. Here's your next assignment. But nothing is fixed. He locked the thread so he can't respond. So I just want to know, because every time I've been asking this, they've been deleting it. I haven't been getting any fucking any type of answers for a service I've been paying for. If they decide to delete this again, this will be the fourth fucking time gaming service, like, all this stuff's legit. If they decide to do this again, I'm, I'm just probably gonna destroy my Xbox soon, because I don't want to be linked up with anybody who's gonna support pedophilia.
That's just fucking disgusting. It'd be different if it was name calling, but when this person's actually been caught and it's <laughs> over the past couple days, this person's been called out, caught, noticed, like this person is, it needs to be taken care of. And uh, Xbox is apparently refusing to do any of that. So, if anybody wants to see how this actually works, this, if I'm correct, this should only take less than a fucking couple seconds. It got zero views, right? Oh, we got one view. Hmm. Already been locked. That's interesting. Wonder if they're actually gonna reply this time, then. Be fucking miracle. They just keep straight up. They will not actually give me a legit reason. They're saying it's probably over their profanity. You'd have to get a hold of enforcement. Come on. There it is. Access denied. They have now deleted my message. And if you're wondering, how do I know this? Give me one second. Okay, and as we can see here, we go to My Activity, Threads I Created, View Results. We got nothing. Yeah, they took down my old posts that I had for questions, they took down the new ones, they took down the ones I had currently. Yeah. They're just trying to cover their tracks this time, they know they fucked up. Yup, they're deleting his posts. He refreshes the page a few times and proves that Xbox is just like taking these down. He said it happened to him like four times. We would not have this problem if the Xbox enforcement team was doing what they're supposed to be doing. Oh, this guy said F off. He said that to some dude that is exploiting kids. That's that's profanity. We cannot have profanity. Look, no one gives a shit if you say the F word. I play Modern Sweatfare too. I hear 10 year olds saying the F word all the time. It's trash talk. It's what made Xbox Live great. But now, shit is backwards. You can pretty much do anything on Xbox Live except for swearing. Look, as long as it's not racist or discriminatory, why does it matter? No one cares. I promise, no one gives a shit. So think about where our priorities should go. This guy said the F word. We should punish him and give him a ban so he can learn from it because apparently profanity is just not allowed. No matter what kind of word it is, it is not allowed. So just throw out that profanity schmeal shit out the window and look at the facts. This guy is a pedophile. He is targeting kids over Xbox Live. You say a bad word to him, for example the F word, or any type of word to him, I mean, sure, you might get suspended for a day, maybe, but I mean, it's not a really big deal, to be honest. But then you look the bigger elephant in the room, if you will, and see the guy is targeting kids. I mean, should the ban hammer go to the guy who was cursing out the fucking pedophile? Or should the ban hammer go to the fucking pedophile who was putting kids in danger over Xbox Live? Who you said back in 2013 is this family friendly bullshit console, which at this point it's really not. I mean, if you want to stick to that story, you might as well ban the fucking pedophile and leave the person who confronted the pedophile alone. And if you think otherwise, I have some bad news for you. You, sir, and I'm sorry to say this, but you, sir, are a fucking idiot. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. With that being said, I thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed your stay. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I am out. Goodbye.